Welcome back. Now, I've never personally met someone who's been scammed online by Nigerian fraudsters, uh, but Joe Biden has, and he's actually naming her to his cabinet. Rick Leventhal is in Los Angeles with the story. Rick. And Trey, some critics are surprised by President Biden's choice to run the federal unemployment program since during Susie Levine's tenure at the head of Washington State's Unemployment Security Department, it's been rocked by scandal, including a huge scam by Nigerian criminals costing the state over $600 million in fraudulent claims. FoxNews.com reports Levine and her husband Eric gave $400,000 to the Biden campaign and other Democratic causes over the past two years, and now she's reportedly been tapped to run the federal office that helps process unemployment claims. A recent Washington state audit faulted the department Levine was running for failing to fix a software issue that contributed to last spring's massive unemployment payout debacle. A total of more than 122,000 fraudulent claims using identities stolen in earlier data breaches, leading to more than 600 million in undeserved payments, although the state has now recovered $357 million of that money. Washington State's auditor blamed a third party for another data breach, exposing private information of 1.6 million residents filing for unemployment last year, and rebuked Levine for delays in supplying auditors information about the fraud. But Levine told the Seattle Times the system has now been repaired, saying, We do have definitive proof that the countermeasures we have put in place are working. We have successfully prevented hundreds of millions of additional dollars from going out to these criminals and prevented thousands of fraudulent claims from being filed. Levine's new title would be Interim Assistant Secretary. Getting the job permanently will require Senate confirmation, which could be tough for Trey because of questions about her performance in Washington State. Trey? Thank you, Rick.